Have you wanted to create smooth and professional looking shots with your phone, but ended up with shaky and really amateur looking footage? If so, you're not alone. Creating smooth camera moves with your phone can be challenging, especially if you don't have a gimbal or stabilizer to help you out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing camera moves with your phone for free, thanks to an app called Luma AI. You'll learn what Luma AI is, how it works and how you can use it to create amazing videos. So if you're ready to take your video production to a new level, let's dive in. Luma is an app that uses a technology called NERFs or Neuron Radiance Field to create realistic 3D scenes. NERFs are a way of representing scenes as neural networks of light that can then be rendered from any viewpoint. This means that you can manipulate or view your captures in any way that you want. Also, NERFs are different from any other 3D scanning methods because you don't need any expensive stuff to create them. You just need your phone, and an app, which actually is free, so hey, great news. You can capture anything from people to places to objects with Luma AI, and as you can see, the results are very detailed. To use Luma AI, the easiest way is to capture the object or scene directly from the app. You'll see that there's three capture modes that you can choose from, upload, guided, and freeform. Guided is the best one to capture an object. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions and a guide that you can follow on screen. Freeform is better for scenes, since it's more of like an open form, free for all way of doing it. Upload works if you already have a video or multiple photos of the object that you want to capture. And this is especially important if you use professional cameras or drones and you would like to import that material into Luma. Yeah. If you want to go with the upload route, make sure that you still follow the same best practices as with the other methods. Here are some tips for capturing with Luma Air. First, use good lighting conditions. Avoid any harsh lighting that can create glare or shadows in your capture. Two, keep your phone steady and smooth while moving it around the object or the scene. Avoid sudden movements or shakes that can cause motion blur or distortion. Three, keep a consistent distance and angle from the object or scene while moving your phone around. Avoid capturing reflective or transparent surfaces that can confuse the app. And five, don't capture moving backgrounds or people that can interfere with the object or the scene that you want to scan. Luma will try to erase any people from your scene but it will really decrease the quality of the camera. Once you have your capture ready all you have to do is click upload and your, your capture will start processing automatically. Now that your recording is uploaded you can view it in different ways as a whole scene, as a panorama or to isolate the 3D object if applicable. To create a camera movement you can access the field editor from the phone itself or from the web app. Here you will have access to a full camera editor similar to what you will see in any other 3D program. You can change the focal length of the camera the distance to the subject, the different angles around the object, especially useful if you're doing any orbit shot, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw of the camera. To get started, you can choose any of the presets or you can create your own. You can go here to add a keyframe, then let's say we're going to rotate this. You can easily use your mouse to navigate the camera. We're gonna add another keyframe and then say that we want to zoom in pretty closely. To edit the new keyframe, you click E and then OK. And this is how we have our first motion. Once you have created your new keyframe, you will have access to other parameters, it's just motion. Here you can select whether you want a freeform or an orbit motion. Freeform works if you want to move around in the XYZ direction. As you can see here, the controls have changed to an XYZ coordinate plane. Or if you want to orbit around the object, you can select orbit and it changes to a distance, which is like your radius from the center of the object and the different angles around. You can also change the duration of the whole animation. In this here we have that from keyframe 1 to keyframe 2 is 2 seconds and the smoothness as well. By selecting on, you see that it adds automatically a new keyframe which makes the video loop by default. So this is a great way to create like a boomerang or like a looping video if you want to put it in social media. To add another keyframe, you can simply click insert or add. E and I for editing and inserting are super useful to move around the editor, which can get tricky, especially for more complex camera moves. If you're happy with this animation, you can save this path, which will save all of this keyframe data that you can use for later and you can get started on creating a new animation. That way you'll be able to import those animations whenever you want. Keep in mind that the preview is draft quality and you will get the full quality once you click render. Once you're happy with your animation, you can download it as an MP4 
to share it wherever you want. You can also download your scene as a GLTF or OBJ file that contains the geometry and textures of your model to be used in another 3D program like Blender, Sketchfab, etc. Alternatively, you can also download it as a USDZ file to be used in AR apps, for example, like AR Kit or Reality Compose. The last way to visualize your model is probably my favorite one, using the AR capabilities in your iPhone app. The app lets you view your 3D model in augmented reality, which means you can place it right in front of you, no matter where you are. And you will get a real-time video in your camera roll. And that's how you use Luma AI to achieve cinematic camera moves with your phone. As you can see, Luma AI is a powerful and easy to use app that lets you create 3D models from virtually any object or scene in the world. You can create amazing aerial, orbit, or sliding shots just with your phone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get inspired to start creating your own 3D scans with Luma. So give this video a thumbs up and comment below what kind of videos you want to create with Loom. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in which I share tips and tricks on video production and marketing. See you next time.